Hey people, it's Captain Jamin. I mean, it's Memory Sent here, where Sip becomes one with you, and you become one with a new world around you. Today, you are joining me on a special quest, for new events have rippled the sea, yet events of good fortune. You see, I've had the honor of being introduced to the first U2 Fragrancy viewer of this region, the region of the Balkans, which I will show you is over there, near Italy. Right here. I myself am from Bologna, and he is from Serbia. You see his name, and his channel name as well, which I will link down below, is Oh the Victor. There you will find a plethora of wonderful content, interviews, perfumes, and other fragrance-related topics. You see, he himself has had the honor of being featured on Cascade Sense, on Manny's second to last channel, the top five fragrances. To bring on a vacation and as well I will put down his English channel name Ambroxen which he used to enter Jeremy Frank's giveaway contest and you see he is a very humble and kind lad for he has been given that he has been doing this for over a year now and he has given me a well shout out he is helping me reach my first 100 subscribers, which is almost in the reach. It is almost there. So, Victor, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for reaching out to me first, introducing yourself, and helping me and supporting me so much from day one. You and my lads, my scene and my seagulls, you might be wondering who I am today, who am I dressed? But I think you, you already have the idea. You savvy. And you see the fragrance at hand today, fit for roaming the seven seas with a pirate lord, is Bulgari's man, Black Orient. A beautiful, beautiful golden gem, which is so grossly underrated for I don't know what reason. Yet as my brother Mr. CR said, it is not marketed as much as Men in Black is. Yet that is a such an such a mistake. Because people do not realize what gem this is, how exotically yeah, well blended it is, might I say even niche smelling. Oh, as my brother John Sava described it, imagine wearing it on a night out with your friends in a coat waiting for them. There are little to no reviews of this fragrance here on YouTube, yet the first, fragrance that, the first review that I saw was from my brother Ashton from Jensen's. As you see here, he g g gave it a beautiful description of how it smells with a specific rum note which I personally do not get. Yet, yeah, it is a dark, exotic, deep, beautiful fragrance. As you see, it has, he has some very special ingredients besides the Precious age drum. Where's the white drum gun? The precious age drum. There's also Huberos, Taifros, tanned leather accord, and an oud accord. It is actually marketed as a oriental leather oud. And it's actually, and you, and you must realize, even though it is oud based, the oud here is very soothing, very gentlemanly. It's not at all intrusive or barnyardy as, as one might say. Though to be honest, the person that this reminds me of the most is This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow, a pirate so brave on the seven seas. A mystical quest to the Isle of Tortuga, raven lock sway on the ocean's breeze. Yes, the fragrance that this, is, that this is fit for and who reminds me of the most is Captain Jack Sparrow. And I shall have to disagree with Jerry Fragrant for the fact that he accompanied associated Dark Rebel, John Ravito's Dark Rebel with Captain Jack Sparrow. Ah, some beautiful woods and spices leather at the beginning, which, dry, which begin to dry down to a beautiful, more war, warm and leather oud. Imagine Tortuga, what would Tortuga would smell like with all the spices 
and rum. Imagine Captain Jack Sparrow. Imagine the island that he was trapped on the first part. The blistering sun heating the island in the sand. And at night, you feel that heat radiate upon thy skin. This, this is what Black Orient smells like. Don't get the mistake that even though it reminds me of Tatuga and Captain Jack Sparrow, that it is dirty. By far, it is not that. It is a gentleman. Scent. Warm and strong. Fit for roaming the seven seas. Sailing the Black Pearl with Captain Jack Sparrow. And beware, this is a beast mode performer. Above three sprays is already too much. An anecdote. I once did full four sprays and went to town to meet my father. And he joked that the person on the other end of the street has a similar fragrance as I did, meaning that I had quite a sillage upon myself. And people, my gals, and my seamen, would like to thank you for accompanying me and for accompanying Jack Sp Captain Jack Sparrow on this wonderful quest, on this roaming of the seas. For if it weren't for you, if it weren't for your support, your words, your strength, I, Memory Scent, and Captain Jack Sparrow could not defy the means of Davy Jones, the Kraken, and other thing, and other things that this journey encompasses, the, the encompassment of danger. For with you, I've had the strength to push on further and chase this gem, chase this treasure, chase this dream, which is a gift. People, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank Victor once more. And people, this was Captain, I mean, memory sent, this was Captain Jack Sparrow and memory sent. And we shall both talk to you later.